Live. From pushing around big defensive linemen to pushing pen to paper, former NFL player Marcus Ogden is a star on and off the field. He's joining us now to talk about his career in football and in business. So we're going to get to, I mean, you're, you've got all kinds of things going on. You're an author <laughs> and everything else. But first of all, let's talk about your career in the NFL. I went to Howard University in Washington, D.C. Uh, from there, I was drafted in the sixth round to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I was actually Jack Del Rio, the head coach of Oakland now. That was his first draft class wow. back in 2003. Played in the NFL for about six seasons. I uh, really enjoyed it, made some great friends. Um, really had a great time playing the game. The game was uh, outstanding. This right. is a family game, too. You have a brother who lives here in Las Vegas. Correct. He was Jonathan Ogden. He was the first draft pick ever of the Baltimore Ravens in 1996. Wow. It was him, then Ray Lewis. Wow. And uh, that was phenomenal. Uh, he's been <laughs> in the NFL. He played 12 years, was the first battle Hall of Famer. Absolute great guy. Look at that. What did you guys eat for breakfast? Because it's like, what, <laughs> is, a, the, what is the key of the key? <laughs> we had a $200 food bill back in the 80s per week. Oh, I'm sure. Mom a was week. Like <laughs> See, my brother was six foot nine in the eighth grade. Oh, Whoa. so you guys were destined to do yeah. big things. Yes. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. Yes. And like you know, Ricky mentioned, you have a lot of things happening, but let's talk about that transition yeah. out of the NFL mm -hmm. into the real world. A lot like, I mean, my father's, both of our fathers, military. And so okay. that transition from military life to civilian life, right. it's, it's tough. So for you, what is it like? It's what like, you're, it like you're a warrior, you're a gladiator, you're taught when to get up, when to go to practice, yes. when to go to work, you're to be on the plane. And then from there, when you get out of that, you have no structure. Right. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, you know, you can get up when you want to get up, what you want to eat, go where you want to go. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys really don't do well with that mm -hmm. because it's like now that you don't have that rigorous structure of what to do and that plan of action for the day, a lot of guys lose themselves and have a trouble adapting to society as an everyday civilian without having football. Even, even depression yes, sinks right. in, right? Oh, yes. Money issues happen. Yes. Because well, how did you do it? <sighs> what happened with me is I, I've had a construction company my guy the NFL, gave me a lot of stability, a lot of structure. I took on a bad project for about $4 million, and I lost mm -hmm. all the thing that I own. I lost $2 million in 90 days on one project. Mm -hmm. And I went filed personal bankruptcy. I went through the whole process. I went through depression, alcoholism, gambling. Wow. And I've been there, so I know what it's like. Okay. But at the end of the day, I try to tell guys there is a brighter tomorrow. Just kind of you know figure out what you're good at and focus on that. Mm -hmm. And then try to excel at those things, and you can go far in life. Right. So a lot of guys, 78% of NFL athletes, go broke after two years of being retired. We have all that big money coming in, and I'm, I'm sure there's not a sense of spending it because there's so much of it, yeah. and then all of a sudden, you know, the pipeline starts. Was, and it's like, I'm not destructible, right? Like, was, it won't happen to well, me. Well, I was watching ballers on the way here from uh, Cary to North Carolina to here, uh -huh. and a lot of things in there are a little outlandish, but then a lot of things there are true. Like, you know, guys go through that first contract, they're borrowing from the owners, Try and the owners love that because then you're stuck to the guy. You can't go to free agent uh, market. You can't right. go out for the next contract. You know, guys spending on Ferraris, Lamborghinis. Cause you can. Yeah, because you can. The dream. It's exactly. The dream. I mean, you take a young man who is in his early 20s who's been poor his whole life. Mm -hmm. You give him a sign bonus for $10 million. What are you going to do? Oh, I just got the chills. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? And some of this stuff that you have in your book, which you have right in front of you yes, here. Yes, it's Sleepless Nights, yes. the NFL, a business and family. It became a bestseller on Amazon within two days of being released. Sure. It talks about my life growing up, the NFL, how the NFL came in and helped me with a grant and paid four months of my bills to help me get back onto my feet. Wow. That's incredible. And really yeah. quick, if you want to talk about your camp and how yeah. you benefit kids. What we do is we work with kids of all ages, usually 6 to 18, on how to be better character, better development, how to prepare for life after football, education, right. what makes a difference in society. Football and sports are short term. Right. Mm -hmm. Education is the long term to get you where you want to be in life. Yeah, fantastic. Congrats yes, on your yes, success. Thank you. Huh. Yeah. To learn more about Marcus Ogden's unbelievable journey in his autobiography, Sleepless Nights, head to VIPInkPublishing.com. You can also follow Marcus on Facebook and Twitter and go nowhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.